Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about the new Tartlet palette. The new Tartlet in Bloom palette is out. It's been out for a few weeks now. I'm a little late to the game. I've had mine for a little bit, but um, I still wanted to give my two cents. So this is an Amazonian clay palette. I did not get the first Tartlet palette. Um, I have a hit and miss love relationship with Tarte. Sometimes this stuff is really good and sometimes it's really just not that good of quality to me. So, um, and I hope the lighting's okay. We're having a gloomy-ish day today. Um, but, I, so I don't always purchase everything from Tarte because it is such a hit and miss. But the Tartlet got such good reviews and this kind of spoke to me a little bit more because it's a little warmer. Um, and it does have mattes, but it also has a few um, shimmers in there. So I wanted to review this for you and give you a look and give you my two cents on what I think. As for packaging, it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. I, I love the first one too. It's like a, this kind of purple, but it's just the whole thing is purple. But this is just so pretty. It's got tartlet written in the gold. Um, it's just a beautiful, like, it really does look in bloom. It looks nice and fresh and pretty. Um, gold backing on it, so get your fingerprints ready. <laughs> um, it does have a very nice mirror here. It says Tartlet right there. If I blind you, sorry. And here are your shadows. So there is a little bit more... Not that the Tartlet was cool, but I just think that this is just slightly a little bit more warmer tone. Um, than the Tartlet was. The names are written on this gold packaging, which is nice. I like it when they do that and you don't have to flip to the back or flip to an insert, things like that, because sometimes they just have inserts that have the names on them. So I do like that this does have the names on it. Now, I've heard a couple people mention this, but I've tried not to watch any reviews to not get bias or anything, but this really does have the same kind of cocoa butter smell that the um, Too Faced palettes have, and it's so weird. It's like that same kind of like chocolatey cocoa smell. I don't know why, or if that's on purpose, or what, if they're like trying to copy Too Faced, I don't know. But it does have a little bit of that smell that you can just kind of get a whiff of. It's not as strong as the Too Faced, but you definitely do smell it on there. So today I have my foundation on already and my eyebrows and powder and then we will do a look together but first let's do some swatching. I'm going to go 4 by 4 because I kind of feel like that's how they set this up like this is one complete eye look, this is one complete eye look, this is one complete eye look. So let's see how they work. They feel very soft and buttery, I will say that to start with. This is Charmer Jet Setter rocker and smoke show really really highly pigmented there they are for you this is just a stunning taupe color really really pretty these three are mattes so the white the transition color or kind of like a more cool toned bright darker transition color and the smoke one are all mattes and this is a shimmer. The next row in the palette is this row. And these all feel so soft and buttery. This is Flower Child, Smarty Pants, Friar Cracker, and Activist. And Smarty Pants is a really, really, really pretty transition color as well as Flower Child if you're looking for something that's not quite cream but just a little darker than cream. And there they are swatched. Again, the first two and the last, the fourth one are mattes. The third is the shimmer. And look at that. It's such a beautiful, like, bronzy copper color. Really pretty. This is Funny Girl, Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader. I love these two end ones right here. All of these are gorgeous. And there they are swatched for you. So this is the only shimmer. These three are the mattes. I love these two. Actually, I love that one too. I think that would all make a really beautiful eye. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our eye look and do um, 
try to use one of these whole lines, preferably if I can. So I think I'm going to go for the bottom line. It really is just calling my name. So this is Funny Girl, Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader. And I am going to go into Sweetheart, which is the lightest of them, for my transition color. And um, they definitely have some kickback just because of how buttery they are. So I would definitely um, tap off your brush. So there is our transition shade, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit into Rebel, which is the second to darkest. And I'm gonna take this into the crease with just more of a pointy brush. And I'm just focusing that right into like when I push into my hooded eyes, just right into that crease. So that is before I blend it out. Now I'm going to go back in and just blend out the edges, make sure everything is really nice and blended. Okay, kind of with a little bit of a flat shader brush, I'm going to go into Funny Girl and put that right on the eyelid. I'm going to take kind of a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more um, kind of pointed, and I'm going to go into Leader and put that into the outer V and see if we can blend blend that out. So I just kind of stamped that on there and then just blended it out a little. I'm going to go back in and blend. And then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and just kind of hit that corner just a little bit more. And I'm going to take um, just another flat shader brush and I'm going to go into Charmer for my brow bone color. You could do um, Funny Girl for your brow bone highlight, but it's just a little bit more shimmer than what I want for this look. I just want a little bit more of a whiter tone. Like that cream color is perfect. Kind of hide all those brow hairs that I have going on. Eventually one day I will get my brows done. I promise. One day. Okay, I'm going to go in um, with a clean, fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend the top together and make sure that everything looks good. I just went through and blended out any fallout that I may have gotten. And that is it. Oh my gosh, that was like such a quick, like easy makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes and I will be right back to tell you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really, 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 really like this palette. I did this eye look so fast. They all blended together so beautifully. And I just think this is an amazing palette. I understand now why everybody loved the tartlet so much because the mattes in here are probably the best mattes I've ever seen from Tarte. I mean, I have a few Tarte palettes, but I really like these mattes. So they blended to wall together so well. I got this eye look. I just put my Mali um, Evercolor water liner, uh, waterproof liner in chocolate diamond on the top because I didn't want something too harsh. And then I put my ColourPop Get Paid, kind of just for that coppery, penny kind of look um, on the lower lash line. Did my mascara, and then this is my Doll 10 lipstick with my Cargo Cosmetics topper on it. So, I really, really like this. If you don't have this, I would highly, highly recommend it. I did this whole row right here, plus I used this in my brow bone. Amazing. I can't even like say enough words other than just amazing. I love the eye look that I created with it. I think that this is a really fast, easy go-to palette. You wouldn't think it would be, but that was fast and it was easy. It didn't take any time to blend it out. I mean, I think it just, it looks really, really pretty. Okay, sorry, mid-sentence I realized 
you don't have any blush on it might help if you put some blush on and you know tie it all together anyways this is a great palette if you don't have it I highly recommend it I will list the price somewhere around here I can't remember exactly but I know that it's totally affordable and doable and I'm really just like shocked impressed I really like this palette so that is all I have for you today thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video bye guys